New estimate for magma under Yellowstone supervolcano. Scientists say the extra magma doesn't mean it's more likely to erupt. In fact, better measurements help them understand its future. Magma is a huge resource for volcanoes. The Yellowstone supervolcano, centered in northwestern Wyoming, stores a lot of magma beneath its geyser-filled surface. However, magma is a mixture of solid and liquid parts, and not all of it can erupt. To find out how much geological goulash could potentially come out of the volcano if it erupted, the scientists applied a relatively new technique to a 20-year-old catalog of seismic data. Their study, published Thursday in the journal Science, concludes that there is more molten rock in Yellowstone's upper magma reservoir than previously thought. 16% to 20% of it is molten, compared with previous estimates of about 10%. There was a very large magmatic system there for 2 million years, said Brandon Schmant, a geophysicist at the University of New Mexico and author of the study. It doesn't look like the system is going to go away, that's for sure. However, that doesn't mean Yellowstone is any more dangerous than before, said Michael Poland, a scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory who was not involved in the study. Although the Yellowstone volcano is slightly more capable of erupting than previously believed, the new study corroborates that its shallow reservoir is mostly solid, making the prospect of an upcoming eruption very slim. The study also does not imply that more eruptive fuel has been created in recent years. We're not saying that the system is changing, said Dr. Schmant. It's about getting a clearer picture of what's down there and what's been down there for some time. As a volcano, Yellowstone is not a mountain that gives up easily. Since its powerful appearance 2.1 million years ago, there have been two other major eruptions, many quite powerful eruptions, and countless lava flows. Its last eruption occurred in the form of a thick lava flow 70,000 years ago. Wanting to predict the volcano's future, scientists have tried to determine how much molten rock is close to the surface and where it is located. Magma reservoirs may be more like mazes than tanks of ever molten rock. Crystal boundaries trap melt, hot, floating fluid. The more melt, the greater the volcano's ability to erupt. Previous research at Yellowstone revealed two magma reservoirs, one of viscous magma 3 miles to 10 miles below the surface, and another of much more liquid magma 12 miles to 30 miles below the surface. It is estimated that about 2% of deeper reservoirs and 5% to 15% of shallower reservoirs are made of melt. Volcanologists identify magma reservoirs by monitoring earthquakes. Seismic waves penetrate the Earth's interior before being detected by surface seismometers. These waves travel more slowly through hot, partially molten rock, and scientists use their travel times to interpret how fluid the subsurface is. However, these traditional seismic imaging techniques are imperfect. Seismic waves sometimes bend around pockets of liquid. This method also assumes that seismic waves travel in a simple way, from the earthquake directly to the seismometer. In reality, seismic waves radiate in all directions, and important information about the bowels of the Earth is lost. For the new study, the authors turned to 20 years of recordings of Yellowstone's background seismic noise, generated by distant ocean waves, wind and human activity, to focus on neglected volcanic melts. They eliminated this with traditional seismic simplification and used supercomputers to describe the passage of seismic waves more accurately. The team found that seismic waves slowed as they traveled 2 miles to 5 miles downward corresponding to the upper segment where Yellowstone Volcano's shallower magma reservoir is thought to lie.
This suggests that up to 20% of this entire reservoir is melted. Luckily, this is nothing to worry about. The rule of thumb is that a reservoir can't produce an eruption without melting 35% to 50%, when everything is, like crystal soup, said Ross McGuire, a seismologist at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and an author of the study. That value, often debated by volcanologists, is likely to vary between volcanoes. However, 20% of Yellowstone is still well below that critical threshold. For those hoping to uncover other volcanic secrets, the study confirms that this relatively new technique is a very good way to go, said Diana Roman, a geophysicist at the Carnegie Institution for Science in Washington, D.C., who was not involved in the research. It's like putting a new lens on an old camera, said Dr. Poland. It's the same camera, but the resolution is now better. You can see more clearly.